So I'm vlogging today, which I typically don't do because I don't think my life is that interesting. But I'm in Ireland right now and I'm gonna be meeting up with Clarence. Actually, we're, we're staying at the same Airbnb together for the next four days, training and screwing around. And then we're gonna do our seminar uh, on the weekend. If you were wondering who this dude is next to me, this is Dom, he's been helping me out uh, in England. He helped me out in my seminar and he's gonna be helping us out a bunch and also training with us. It's also really funny, we've been eating horribly the past week and a half and Clarence is probably gonna show up with his vegan groceries. He's gonna be lifting way more than us. I'm beginning to wonder why I even you know, wanted to train with him in the first place because he's just gonna make me look like an ass. We're looking for a Ford Fiesta, the most anabolic car <laughs> you can own. All right, we're inside now. I couldn't film outside because it was raining, but the man himself is here. <laughs> I got like three hours sleep and I drove for like four hours. It was really stressful because I didn't know where I was going. I got lost multiple times and went in circles. Good, let's train then. You two are sharing a bar. Dom, you're gonna try to deadlift. Yeah. Clarence's gonna snatch. <laughs> oh, it's always talking about the seminar, that'll be funny. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> one seminar. I'll just do it on the seminar instead. No, I'm not gonna show people your shitty deadlift on the seminar. <laughs> I'm sorry. Clarence has found the iron brew. Now we can train. Finally heading to train. Uh, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> terrible at vlogging. I'm so bad. <laughs> What's up, pit freaks? It's your boy Telly here, with with uh, CK CK Strength. We're here in the uh, legendary Ford Fiesta, the most anabolic car in uh, Europe. <laughs> the three steps for shredded abs is driving a Ford Fiesta. One, two, riding a bicycle. Everywhere, I think. Is that what that was? Yeah, one of them? Cycling everywhere. Yeah. Cycling everywhere. C cycling all the time. And uh, being vegan. So, uh, we were worried about a place to train, and then we ended up coming to the best weightlifting gym in Ireland. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. It looks way bigger in person. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've seen videos online. Like. I legit have never heard of it before, and it's probably one of the best weightlifting gyms I've ever been to. I wanted to get a basic Q and A with Clarence while we're lifting, so it's not just lifting videos. But I was talking about this with him earlier, and I figured it'd be good to put in the video. Uh, your training right now, at least in weightlifting, is kind of sparse and sporadic, right? Like, yeah, I kind of just go to the gym and do whatever I want really, which is definitely not the best way to train. Like I'll definitely benefit from getting a coach. Yeah. You know, but um, uh, I don't really, you know, I don't really care too much about like, getting a better way of thing. Like um, uh, it's not my main goal in life at the moment. So, yeah. yeah. Cross it. Cross it. Ah. You had a coach at one point. Yeah. The, the Polish coach. Um, Pavel Nadek. I was actually uh, coached by his coach for a while um, in Poland, um, in Opola, and I was in their club. And yeah, the training was, it was just uh, too intense. It, the frequency is very high. Um, but I would say like the training I did with Pavel Nadek was actually like harder, like there's more volume, but it was just the fact that I was like front squatting um, like 10 times per week. I was training, like I had 11 sessions per week. There was only back squats once, once per week and I wasn't used to that. Yeah. Like, um, and I think I'm better suited to doing like back squats because I recover faster from back squats like compared to front squats. I just like front squats just destroy me. Open. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Let's go. Take a breath. Good. Tap and go. Good. Keep your hips high now. Open. Tap and go. Go. Yeah. One more. Same thing. Perfect. Good. Um, so you're keeping your hips high, but you're not like just purely hinging like a deadlift. Uh -huh. you're, when I tell you to keep your hips high, you're actually, they're still low, but they're in the right position. You front squatted 11 times a week? 10 times a week. 10 times a week. Trained and 11 times. Trained 11 times. And one of the how, sessions I had to like back squat. So. How heavy were the 
front squats? How, how heavy would they get or was it just very vo high volume? No, the volume was uh, quite low. Um, it was like multiple singles. So um, in the morning I would do like um, eight singles in the front squat and then the evening I'll do eight singles again. Uh, the weight was actually kind of moderate at the start and then it started getting heavier and heavier. Woo-wee! That one's not going on YouTube. <laughs> Now that I said it, it's definitely going on YouTube. Like, I, I did snatch 160 when I was over there. Yeah. Um, that was without straps, and that was at like uh, 90 kilos, which was pretty good for me at the time. But my clean and jerk, um, it didn't progress at all. Um, I was only able to clean and jerk like 180. And when I was on Pavel Nidex program, um, I cleaned uh, 205 kilos and clean and jerked 195. <laughs> and then just being a bitch that's all I told you I, w I shouldn't have done it but I did it so that you were injured uh, yeah, yeah. It, you're or, really badly injured in these so like what was the injury what was it was just a uh, severe like tendinitis. yeah like, so bad you couldn't even like walk or uh, yeah it was like a knife stabbing into my knee <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> yeah. How long did you do that for? Oh, um, yeah, I was in Poland for two months doing that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was training with Paul Nader for like, yeah, over a year, I think. So oh, anyway, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, like, um, training with him is actually like, yeah, he, like he gave me good programs and I, I progressed quite a lot, actually. Like oh, uh, when I started with him, uh, my best clean jerk was 177 and it went up to 195 within like a year. <sighs> All right, well, that's it. Right now we gotta go eat and, yep. and probably get a pint, I think. I know that I don't drink that much. I know Clarence doesn't drink at all, but we have to have a Guinness while we're in Dublin. <laughs> or at least I'm gonna make him have one, so. That's it. promised, I got Clarence a pint. Pressure me into this. Um, I, didn't, I didn't want to do this at all. Yeah. Alright boys. I'll see you on the next one. Drink it. Just a sip. It's so bad. It's... <laughs>